Good morning. My name is Stefan Verhulst. I'm the um, co-founder and chief of research of the, uh, the GovLab, which is an action. <laughs> thanks, Eric. Uh, which is an uh, action uh, research center at uh, uh, NYU, New York University, and uh, I'm delighted to, to uh, uh, speak to the hardcore of the research community. I mean, I, they always ask me, when do you want to speak? And I said, well, I want to speak to the ones that really care. And then they schedule me at 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so, so finally, I actually speak to those who really care and show up at 9 o'clock uh, in uh, Barcelona. And so, um, as I was saying, GovLab is an action research center. And the uh, key focus of GovLab is to uh, study and provide evidence on um, how to innovate governance in order to improve people's lives. And one of the reasons why we created GovLab was to move away from what we called fate-based innovations, uh, innovations which are quite often, it's good to do, it sounds, anyway, it has open in it, so it must be good, uh, or it has civic tech in it, so I mean, it can't, be, can't go wrong, to more evidence-based kind of interventions. And so uh, in order to um, be more evidence-based, you obviously have to A, gather evidence, uh, uh, and that's the research agenda that we have, and we will talk about that also during the plenary, uh, which is the research agenda that we have with the MacArthur Research Network, but also we have to also take stock of the evidence that is already there. And if you take stock of the evidence that is already there, then basically you are confronted with some challenges. How do I do this? Uh, um, because current research on uh, governance, uh, open governance, and civic tech is quite fragmented to a large extent. I mean, you manage to bring all the people together here, but if you really want to get uh, a notion of what is available with regard to the key findings and what is available with regard to the research, then it's kind of hard to find. And it's not only dispersed and fragmented, it's also quite often hard to access because it's quite often placed behind paywalls. Everyone has the experience of going to those kinds of portals uh, and uh, trying to find something and then ultimately being uh, um, urged uh, to actually type in your password. You know, we are lucky we are at NYU or university uh, uh, where we have some of that access, but most in the field and especially those who quite often attend Tic Tac who are really uh, uh, action researchers uh, have a challenge to actually even access those kinds of portals. Now, there are, of course, solutions, and many in the room have found ways to bypass, uh, um, let alone pirate uh, some of the, uh, uh, um, the, the research papers that are out there. Uh, and many of you are, of course, using Google Scholar, which is a great service, in order to just find the uh, uh, information that there is. You have Social Science Research Network, which is also a great service in order to um, collide uh, um, social science research and make it open. You have Academia, you have ResearchGate, and so on. At the same time, those solutions that currently exist in order to provide access to evidence and also be able to have an insight about what is the evidence already available are still not enough. And so those platforms are not targeted to the open gov uh, civic tech space, and they also don't curate and contextualize their content. And so in order to solve that challenge, uh, um, we uh, partnered with my society and also with the, uh, uh, the World Bank and started a beta, alpha, uh, it was just up, um, um, uh, called the Open Governance Research Exchange. And uh, Andrew, who is really uh, behind the uh, development, uh, will explain what it is. And we hope that everyone can join, because this is a co-created kind of platform, uh, and only will succeed uh, through co-creation. And so that's the reason why we're so delighted to talk to these hardcore uh, uh, researchers this morning. But Andrew, why don't you? Thanks, Stefan. Uh, hi, my name's Andrew Young, uh, and I'm just going to run through a little bit of the functionalities and features of the uh, Open Governance Research Exchange. We like to call it OGRX, but um, most people are going with OGRE, whether we uh, like it or not. Um, so, as Stefan said, you know, the, the goal here is really to bring together the research and findings from the space um, and make it more accessible. So the, the site features content that ranges from you know, journal articles and 
uh, uh, working papers to books and dissertations. Um, so whenever you come to the site, there's the simple kind of keyword search, as well as the ability to browse by authors, categories, um, categories meaning innovation areas, open data, uh, public sector innovation labs, et cetera, um, organizations, and then, of course, the ability to submit new research, which I'll get to more in a moment. Um, our high-level navigation system here is based on uh, some of the main kind of innovation areas that seem to fit in this space. I think um, one of the things that I took away yesterday was a lot of discussion around how uh, you know, the OpenGov civic tech space kind of encompasses so many different types of uh, approaches, tools, technologies. So um, this is our attempt to kind of provide some kind of roadmap to uh, some of the research there. Uh, so we have things like behavioral science and nudges, uh, citizen engagement, open data, um, as well as kind of a link to everything. So this is not um, exhaustive in terms of what we have here. You can find information on participatory budgeting to freedom of information law, et cetera, et cetera. So if you were to click on the citizen engagement category there, you'd come to this landing page. Um, right at the top, uh, as Stefan kind of alluded to, we have this slider which allows you to choose whether you want to look at all of the articles, including those that might be behind paywalls, or specifically only access the ones that are, are open access. Um, you know, we see that as kind of a dual uh, benefit there because we, as GovLab, do want to advocate for more open access and also for those who don't have institutional access to these uh, types of databases that Stefan was mentioning before, make it kind of user friendly for them. Um, and then below that, of course, there's a search, and then we have uh, the more detailed kind of filter and taxonomy system um, that allows you to browse by, or filter by, I should say, um, organizations, objectives, meaning, you know, is this an open data paper or a citizen engagement paper, I should say, um, that's about increasing the effectiveness of governance? Is it about increasing the legitimacy through transparency and accountability? Um, we have the ability to filter by methodology, so is it based on case studies, RCTs, uh, sector from criminal justice to health and education, region, uh, publication type, uh, which is wide ranging as I mentioned, and also tools. So if you're looking specifically for the paper on Fix My Street, um, you can access it that way. So uh, the site, we tried to make it as user friendly as possible in terms of being able to do a simple keyword search, but you can also go in and say, you know, I want, I'm looking for a dissertation on citizen engagement's use to improve uh, the effectiveness of governing institutions in Spain. I'm not sure that we have one of those, but uh, you could at least do that filter. Um, so this is a kind of landing page that we have for an organization, one of the founding partners, um, the World Bank Digital Engagement Evaluation Team. Uh, where you get a little information on the organization as well as the list of all of uh, their publications there. It's a similar kind of system for authors, so every author that's found on the site, if you click on their name, you would come to something like this. And then, uh, so this is what the papers look like. As you can see, we have the kind of tags based on the taxonomy that I was just mentioning, as well as the abstract, which also feeds into the uh, keyword search and the ability to download the paper. <laughs> Uh, the papers are not housed on the site uh, primarily. It's mostly just pointing you in the direction of where they exist, whether they're on SSRN or on one of these databases uh, with the paywalls. You know, this is, um, I think, probably the most important piece in my view. Um, as Stefan kind of alluded to, you know, we really, at, it, at our highest aspiration, we want this to become a common resource for the field, and we absolutely need the help of the field to achieve that. Um, so on every page, uh, we have lots and lots of pointers to the ability to submit research. Um, we have a pretty simple form here for people to share their work, uh, whether it's peer-reviewed, published uh, journal articles or an unpublished working paper. Um, we're very interested in getting submissions from the field, and uh, this is kind of the, the key piece of this, in my view. Uh, as Stefan alluded to, we have uh, the three founding partners here, but we also have um, some space down there for, for more organizations. 
as well as the, uh, the kind of ability to submit articles. We're very interested in kind of partnerships around this. We want this to be a collaborative effort. Um, so, you know, we have a few kind of uh, uh, a few partners at launch, including the Center for Innovation at Leiden University, as well as events such as Tic Tech, uh, where we can create kind of dedicated pages with some more information and some more uh, research about from these events or from these organizations, but um, we're very interested in partnering with others in the field to kind of amplify their research um, and, and highlight it on the site and work with them to develop this in the way that's as useful as possible. So uh, check it out. It's at ogrx.org. Uh, we'd love it if you would contribute uh, your research, uh, become a partner, share your feedback. Uh, offline will be around. There's also a feedback form on the site. Uh, like I said, you know, we really don't want to develop this in isolation in Brooklyn. We, we want your input, and we want to make this as useful as possible to um, the people like you. Thank you.